All right, I'm out here in Big Scrub, Ocala National Forest, and I thought maybe I'd give you an update on the uh, camper. I am, uh, actually, I got a picture here. This is my 100-watt portable uh, solar panel. I'm up in an oak hammock, and so my uh, solar panels do me no good. So I throw this out here. It basically keeps the refrigerator going, things like that. I get all the whole weekend without having to charge, um, pretty much. Anyway, here's the camper. Anyway, here's the camper. Some of the things I've done since taking the last video, I don't know if you can see this tires here. I've got some all-terrain tires on there, truck tires, and uh, I've actually uh, flipped the axle. I did a video on that, so you can go back and look. Also, if you're interested, you can go back and look. I did 12 episodes on, on the build of this thing, so I'm not going to go into that, but some of the things you can see that were in the last episode 12 is these graphics that are on here. Um, I put the graphics on there, obviously did the lift, and the tires. Um, got a little portal in the back there. That little desk I have in the back. Um, when you're sitting at that, working on the radio or doing whatever, you know, you uh, got a good view out the back. So that's the back side. And I'm back here up in the woods, like I said, in Ocala National Forest. And uh, here's the left side. Same decal over here. And uh, anyway, I put the, the jacks on the front. I think they're on there before. But nothing really changed too much up front here other than that diesel tank you see, uh, which I have a Chinese diesel heater, in, heater inside. Uh, inside I've changed a few things electrically. I've added some stuff. Like I said, I put the diesel heater in uh, and uh, I added that little 100 watt portable panel so I could throw out when I'm in an oak hammock like this and actually capture some sun. But I'm gonna come around here. The front door will go inside. And uh, now, you have to excuse the mess in here. I am camping this weekend, and it is being lived in. So, you come in here. One of the things, I did a video of some pictures of this, but this is a, I got two switches here. One is uh, for the uh, uh, gray water tank heater when I'm up in very cold weather so it don't freeze. It only comes on if it's below 40 degrees, and then I've got this thing here. Throw it on, and it shows you the, uh, the gray water situation. You can see I'm a little less than a, how about a quarter of a tank. But anyway, so I added that. Um, I don't know if I showed before this thing here that pulls out. I don't know, in, in episode 12, I think I left this out. But in any case, that's the pull-out counter. But nothing else up front's changed up here, pretty much the same. I did in the back here, and let me, uh, see how see, let me turn the lights on here. There we go. So uh, yeah, I, I did add this table. I, I had a one that was fixed before and it was always in the way. So I added this thing here. I made do with the, the holder I had. You see how I did that. I cut the leg, put that on there, but this thing moves around and I can move it out of the way. Uh, when I put the bed down, it can be a nightstand. The dog can get around, uh, you know, so I don't have to keep taking it down at night and stuff. It works really well. And then when I'm traveling or the bike is in, it just folds up and goes against the wall. See the two little hooks down there. I got some tie wraps, or not tie wraps, but some uh, some straps that go in there to hold it down. So in the back here, um, I think I did a video on the Chinese diesel heater. This is my dog's food here. She's with me this weekend. It's down here. You can go back and look at the video on that, the installation. The thing is indispensable in cold weather. And the thing that's changed back here the most, the dog's out there barking. I did add a fresh water uh, meter here. So if you turn the pump off, that goes off when you turn the pump on. That comes on, you can see your, your fresh water situation. You can get under the bed and look at it. What I found, even though I can see it under there, I gotta bend down. I store a lot of stuff under there, so I gotta pull it out to kind of look at it. So I added that meter, it kind of goes with the uh, the one in the bathroom. Um, anyway, I'm trying to think of what else I may have done in here since the, the last video, other than live in it and stuff like that. Uh, here's the front. Oh, I did add the uh, CO2. I got a carbon monoxide and a smoke detector in here. I, I put that in when I put the Chinese diesel heater in here, uh, just because of the way I built it. If I had a small leak uh, in the housing that I have, I could conceivably be getting some diesel fumes and carbon monoxide in here. So I put that in here so when I'm out west camping or I'm in a really cold weather and it's running, I don't have to worry about going to sleep and not waking up, I hope, in any case. But uh, yeah, I got the dogs dish in here. So I've been having a good weekend camping up here in Ocala National Forest in Hopkins Prairie. Uh, I got the radio outside. I'll throw that little clip in there of the radio. I was up riding my dirt bike, which uh, fit nicely in here when I packed up. So uh, yeah. Anyway, this is the inside. 
So not a ton of change in here since video seven, but I, I have a, a video 12 there, episode 12. I would encourage you to go back and look at episodes one through 12 if you're interested in this toy hauler. This is a six by 12 cargo trailer that I converted. Uh, it's got 412 watts of solar on the roof, 512 amp hours of lithium batteries, which I can go all weekend on. Uh, I got the air conditioner, I can run off the, uh, the uh, 1500 watt pure sign inverter in there. So I'm all set up to be pretty much off grid. And I took this off grid, uh, for three months last year, well, actually not last year, beginning of this year, out in the, the deserts of Arizona, and Nevada, places like that. So anyway, this is it. So yeah, I encourage you to go back and look at those previous videos, like and subscribe. If you have any questions about the build, uh, please uh, feel free to ask. Like I said, most of the actual build and details are in some of the earlier videos. So if you go out to my playlist, uh, you'll see all those videos. Anyway. All right, well, I'm going to turn it off here, and uh, thank you for watching.